India, the USA, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Venezuela, people from these and many other countries of the world live with us side by side. They're working, starting families, bringing up children and simply enjoying life in Kazakhstan. In our program, Connecting Cultures, they share their stories that had occurred in their lives before they came to Kazakhstan and after they arrived here. From them, we will learn how the experience of staying in our country has changed their destinies. Pies, candy, chocolate, fresh and seasonal breads, rolls filled with fruit, croissants, biscuits and cakes. All these delicious gastronomic masterpieces are prepared by a pastry chef. Sebastien Claude Emile Vinquier graduated from one of the best culinary schools in France. He has also worked in some of the best pastry kitchens in Europe and has enormous experience in different countries. For more than six years, Sebastien has been working as an executive pastry chef in Almaty, preparing everything from scratch, satisfying the sweet desires of the city residents. So Sebastian, tell us where you grew up and a little bit maybe about your family. I grew up uh, in a city called Lille. It's far north of France. It's uh, near the Belgian border. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice city, getting more and more touristy. And uh, it's a pretty nice place because people uh, are said to be very welcoming. And uh, there is even a thing that says uh, people, they have the uh, sun inside their heart. There's no, uh, no much sun in this area, but still, you know, it's a young city and it's vibrant and it's more and more uh, tourists there. So it's a nice city to grow up. Now, where did you get the interest to become a chef and why particularly in, maybe into pastry? Well, uh, from my childhood, I was always interested into food and uh, it's come naturally. Um, and when I had the choice to, to decide my career, I, I, uh, I decided to be in the culinary field. I started uh, as a chef, and uh, I did uh, nine years of uh, culinary school, uh, finally, uh, up to a uh, management level. But uh, afterwards, I decided I wanted to do pastry because it was my passion, and I decided to, to do pastry. And, this is still uh, my job now. When I was a teenager, I saw my brother, he was preparing a, a simple apple pie at home. And I say, wow, it's, it's cool. And uh, I like sweets also. And I say, okay, um, why not doing this? Because my brother was a pastry chef at this time. So I think he gave me this idea of uh, doing this job. The process of making chocolate is very important. First of all, you need to put the temperature up to 50 degrees and then you have to uh, put the temperature down by 28 degrees and then back to uh, working temperature at 32, 33. If you don't do that, you won't be able to have a, a crispy chocolate and um, the texture won't be uh, good. And 
could you tell us a little bit about your travels and what eventually brought you over to Kazakhstan? Oh yes, uh, since I ended my culinary school, I was 20 years old. I decided to, to see the world and start to travel to make my experience. So I spent uh, quite uh, a few years in Switzerland, which is good base to, to learn the, in the culinary field because they have the best product and it's very good quality, very, very high level uh, of restaurant. So I started uh, to work in restaurant business mostly. So I was uh, working in a nice hotel uh, in Geneva and then in Switzerland, also in Lausanne and uh, in the German part of uh, Switzerland. So I, I used to work also in Germany and around Europe, I mean, I was, I was working in quite a few countries in Europe. And that's great, you know, you, every time you go in different country, you see different culture, uh, you try different food and this is this uh, base of my influence, you know, I, have, I think I have a creative person. And I think it's because I was traveling a lot and I was curious every time I was uh, looking new, new things in uh, different countries. And uh, it's exciting, exciting life. And suddenly, I, well, it was six years ago, I was um, in UK, in Jersey Island. And uh, I was bored as usual because I grew up hotter, you know. My, uh, so I decided to search for a new challenge and uh, a job offer came up uh, in Kazakhstan. And I said, I don't know anything about this country. What is it? Sounds exciting. So I applied and by chance, I mean, I get the, the position. And uh, since then, I'm still here after six years. Uh, wow, myself, I'm uh, surprised. And I'm not ready to leave at all. I like it. You know, the, there is great opportunities and uh, this, I love all season here. I love even the winter and uh, I love mountains. I go hiking quite a lot. It's my hobby. My hobby is mountains and pastry and sport and friends and food, of course. The process of making uh, sordo bread, baguette, what we use uh, in our kitchen, is a um, very important process is the temperature also. We, we need to calculate the temperature of the room. We need to, uh, to know the temperature of the flour and uh, after we calculate the temperature of the water. So Sebastian, please describe your day-to-day -day work and role in the kitchen. Yes, yeah, since I arrived in Kazakhstan, I am in charge of a uh, local team. Uh, I have about uh, 14 uh, people and uh, I supervise uh, the production, everyday production. And uh, the quality is the uh, main purpose to control the standard uh, quality all day. And uh, so my team work, uh, we have a different shift, and so it's almost 24 hours uh, people uh, at work, yes. So it's quite a lot of work because we, we make everything from scratch. So that's it, mostly supervising, and uh, I do also baking uh, during the night sometimes. So I have a different schedule also myself, I'm very flexible. I can be during the night and after, uh, in the evening uh, in different places, like uh, what we serve sometimes banquets. So we, we produce uh, our uh, baking product and we deliver in uh, a few places in city, including uh, our uh, French uh, bakery. Uh, and uh, this is our main uh, work. So what are some of the attributes and maybe skills that are required for a great pastry chef? M number one thing is patience. Patient for food, patient for curiosity, patient for flavors. And this is mostly the most important key of success. The souffle uh, is the very important part of the souffle is to make uh, light as possible uh, the mixture. That's why we are very careful uh, to incorporate the white eggs, egg white inside the mix of patient food.
Sebastian, what's next for you in the future? Well, the future, you see, I'm pretty good here. You know, uh, nobody knows the future, but for now, I don't ask myself the question. I like here, so I will be staying for a while. And we see, I don't make plans. My, my life has always been like this. I don't make plans, this is my plan. You see? see. So, and I've been here six years, you see, uh, with the same boss, and uh, we had a good relationship together. And uh, I, I want to keep this kind of relation, you know, it's very important for me. Because she trusted me and uh, we had a very nice relation. That's why I, I keep in this job for six years already. Now, obviously, you know, food and, of course, then pastry is evolving in the world and changing and developing. What are some trends that we can see now and what can we expect in the future? You know, uh, something what uh, very important uh, the last uh, 10 years, it's, uh, it's become now fashionable to be a chef. Like, why you are interviewing me? Because before, you know, it was hidden. The chef was hidden in their kitchen. And now, you know, it's, they make show, it's, everyone is interested in TV show about food, and it's like fashionable to be chef almost, you know? And uh, I, it, for me, it's a, a big change, because uh, even the pastry, it's, uh, before it was, uh, you know, uh, the second part of the kitchen, the, the end of the, but was not that important. And now it's getting more and more important, the pastry is. And the, itself, the technique, has been revolutioning this the last 10 years. And uh, this is great because every year you have a new technique. Uh, you, you, uh, you, you even uh, try to uh, make new recipe and uh, say, wow, that's great. I find a new uh, way to do this and a better way to do like this. And uh, it's great. When you, and sometimes, you know, what I like, uh, I have a problem. I need to solve this problem. And I, after I try this, 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 and I got it. And this is, Self-satisfaction. So this is yes, true. Uh, pastry. I don't know what it's going to be in ten years, but will be many surprises. Sebastian Vinquier, looking for a new taste and culinary experience, has traveled almost the whole world. The best pastry in France, Germany, Belgium, and Switzerland, revealing to him their confectionery secrets. Now these secrets of pastry art, Sebastian is sharing here in Almaty.